Regards, masses. It's me, High Bike, and I am back with some more Persona 4 Dancing All Night. That last song we were listening to was indeed Miku Dayo. It was uh, Romeo and Cinderella by Hatsune Miku. Um, reason I played it is because, um, one, it's my favorite um, song that Miku does, and also today, 
As you can tell by the stream title, yes, it is Risei's birthday today. And you know, Miku is an idol, Risei is an idol, they both have pigtails. Hell, even one of Risei's color schemes in Arena, like, looks like- or I guess Ultimax, but like, it looks like Miku, because she, she's got like the turquoise hair and everything. But yeah, like, I just decided, let's play a Miku song before the stream tonight. For this stream. But yes, hello Charlie, Jacob, and CEO. How are we doing today? Or, oh, my bad, Ichigo Uzumaki. Wow. Yeah, named after two of the greatest greatest heroes I know. But yeah, um, let me get the game set up. But because it's um, Risei's birthday, I actually went and bought the DLC, um, the True Story DLC, and she actually dances to it, so we can enjoy that right now. But yeah, last time on Persona 4 Dancing All Night, um, we got to see more of the dance instructor being all like, Let's groove! You know, like, they're honestly such a mood. Um, also, Nanako showed off her dancing skills. Apparently she's a dancing genius, only learning a routine within, like, a matter of minutes, I guess? Or maybe an hour at least. I don't know. It, it was pretty quick. And, hi, Yosuke. Oh, wait, hold on, birthday girl. There she is, the birthday girl. But yeah. Um, also, we went back to the investigation team, um back on the other side of the world and like that mysterious voice still has shenanigans and like she gave up on like using those idols so I don't know what she's up to now but we're gonna find out and also Chie was showing off her dance moves too yes hello Chuck let's groove yes it's grooving time we are here hollow mask and sage mode right yeah Ichigo Uzumaki over here is fucking OP as hell like damn you know what? I'll, I'll let the whole thing play out, cause like, yeah, gotta let Risei shine and also like everyone else, there's Chie. Just look at them go! Like, out of all three dancing games, this is my favorite opening still, like, I feel like this is like, I don't know, this one just like, it just bangs, it slaps. This song never gets old. And like, I like the animation opening sequence. Like, I don't know, something about this just speaks to me. Not just because it's the investigation team, but like, you know, it just hits different, you know? But anyways, the game audio seems really quiet. Okay, let me put it up to yellow. Yeah, that should be okay. Let me know if it's too loud. Alright. Yeah, because I don't want me to be too- or like, I don't want the game to be too loud over me, so like, some of these games have different like, audio mixing, so like, I, don't, I never really know where to like, adjust the bar, but... Plus everything just sounds the same to me, cause like, I'm just on my headphones, but yeah, just let me know. Let me know about volume. But yeah, let's go ahead and do True Story. I hope this one doesn't get blocked out on YouTube. Yeah, there she is! Alright, it's Risei time. Let's keep on going. Yeah. I'll turn up the heat. And it's got her original Japanese voice. I don't know, I'm not really used to her Japanese voice. It's a little too high. It's still cute though. Oh, fuck, I already missed that. Look at her go! I'm glad that this DLC at least gives her, like, another dance. And it's a nice remix too. Excuse me. Well, yeah, how was your guys' day today? Mine was uh, pretty good. Um, went to Costco to buy stuff. Also got a slushie. I tried- I, I swear to god, I really like Taco Bell slushies. Like, I, I have to stop going there. But like, they honestly don't cost that much. And like, I think they'll only cost like around a dollar if you go like around three to four. Because they have like a happy hour. But yeah, like, I got the wild cherry freeze this time and that was pretty good. But yeah, like, you know what? I'm not actually tired today because, like, I, I took some coke earlier today. So, like, I'm, I'm just off the charts. Just no naps. I get diabetes. It's just a drink. I only get the regular size, too. It's not that bad. Like, it's bad. I should be getting Taco Bell, like, actual food from there, but all I get is the fucking slushies. Like, I like Taco Bell too, but it's just like, I don't know, like, I only ever like want the drinks whenever I feel like getting these things. 
Cherry Freeze plus Photo Bomb Sesh. Right, exactly. I had to put Yosuke in there. You know, Yosuke likes Rise. He likes his idols. But hello, Hasbula. How we doing? But yeah, the Taco Bell slushies are like really good. Um, I'm not sure what my favorite one is. You know, honestly, you can't go wrong with the classic blue slushies, like you know, blue raspberry. But uh, I don't know. They're they're all pretty good. Like I've had the what is it? The wild cherry freeze. The um, uh, it was like cherry pineapple mango. Um. And the blue raspberry. I think there's other flavors too, but eh. Taco Bucks. Yeah, no, fuck Starbucks. Taco Bell's where it's at. <laughs> like I do I do like Starbucks's like dragon fruit tea, but that's honestly like the only thing I get from there. At least I have a variety of things that I actually like on the Taco Bell menu. Or okay, like if like we I don't know, we're we're going to the airport more recently because my mom likes to go on a lot of trips, but like, she always has her- Oh fuck. She always has her flights like, in the morning. So like, like early morning. So like, nothing else would be open like 6, like 6, 7 a.m. over there. Like, it'd just be the Starbucks. So like, if I go there, I, I like to get their, um, their egg sandwich with the bacon. It's some good stuff. Yeah, I do do drugs. Yeah, j just this once. And it, it's changed. I think I think that's gonna change now. But hello, Ryan. How we doing? No, but <laughs> that's a joke. I I had Coca Cola though. Like I don't know. Usually when I have like soda, I get sleepy for some reason. But I think it's just because I haven't had soda in a while. Um, it just makes me energized now. Cause I used to drink soda like frequently back in the day. Now I just like keep it to a minimum because like if I have too much caffeine that'll get my heart rate up and that's not fun. It's not fun for me. It makes me feel like I'm dying. But anyways, let's get back to the story mode. But yeah, um, other stuff I did- oh, I watched Helsing. And <laughs> I gotta say, every time like a vampire shows up, they always make the funniest sounds. But um, I really like that priest. Uh, I forget his name, but <laughs> yeah, I just, I think it's, it's cool that like they have like a Protestant faction and then like the Catholic faction that like, you know, they, they fight against vampires and like they have this rivalry going on. Like, it checks out. <laughs> it really checks out. Like, I, I like it. I can't wait to see more of this priest do because I know, I know like the one clip that I saw from this anime was like the one where he speaks in English. Where he's all like, oh, Jesus Christ, amen, or something like that. You know who else watched Hellsting? My mom! Your mom has good taste. You need vampires with long tongues. Yeah, because, like, you know, you know what they can do with that, right? But yeah, <laughs> me and Soda and former bandmate makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Yup, mm hmm. Totally. Let's see, you watched more of Skeleton Knight in Another World, now you're caught up. Watched more of Selene playing Apex, took a break from watching it, took a two hour nap, watched more of Selene playing Apex, and now you're watching the stream. Yes, glad to see you here. And Enna released a new song and dedicated it to her fans, but you'll check it out tomorrow. Alright. Well, cool, cool. Always like new releases, so like, enjoy that. Speaking of Enna... Not- not that Enna, but like Enna with like one N. I just felt like watching Joel G's like, you know, the Enna videos again. And <laughs> it's always fun to watch. I just want, like wanted that in the background while I was working. But I just like- I just really love like the style. It's like, you know... Mm, like it's got that like, you know, old 90s like um, computer kind of feel. And it just makes me more excited for that Dream Barbecue game coming out. But yeah. And I like the character designs too. It, it's just, it has like that weird vibe. Like, if you like Earthbound, like you like this kind of stuff kind of thing. To run, to run! Exactly! Oh fuck. Oh, okay, never mind. That's good. The monologue in Helsing Ultimate. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, so once I finish um, original Helsing, I'll definitely get right into Ultimate. And, you know, I hear it's not too long, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But yeah, I'm really liking Helsing so far. I love the OST, love the um, love the cinematography, and like, Alucard is really cool. 
I like him. Like, he's like a Dante. But, like, he's not really goofy. Dream barbecue <laughs> Caesar voice. No! <laughs> Alright, here, let me see this clip. Yeah, Helsing, it's really good. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like, I've seen clips every now and then, and also, like, the comparisons to Dante, where, like, you know, some Devil May Cry fans just being all like, yeah, Alucard and Dante, and I'm like, yes, I feel that. But, um, yeah, now I'm actually watching it, like, because, like, Hasbulo kept talking about it, so I'm like, okay, sure, I'm gonna go watch it, fuck it. Taste. And, like, you know, vampires oh, wait. with long tongues, yeah, because, like, you know. You know what they can do with that, right? <laughs> I love that the name of the clip is My Health is Declining. <laughs> like, yeah. It is. It really is. I don't have anywhere else to go, so why not? You can only go down from here. But, um, what was I saying? But yeah, you know what? Coming off of, like, rewatching the DMC anime and, you know, playing the games, I'm just like, you know, Helsing kind of has those DMC vibes, so I'm gonna go watch it. Yeah, except- but with more vampires. But yeah, like, I'm really enjoying it. Can't wait to watch more tomorrow. Yeah. You just got a notification that my- your Mr. Morale on the Big Steppers merch is arriving on Monday. Nice. Well, that should be fun. Always nice getting new merch. So yeah, eventually it'll be here. Anyways, let's get right into the story. Still excitedly cheering, the shadows freed by Chie's dance begin dissolving into motes of light and disappear into the air. Chie, you did it. Yeah, good job. Chuck is proud of you, we're proud of you. Do it for Chuck. I'd say I definitely got through to him. <laughs> oh, that was amazing! There's the birthday girl too. Being athletic is important after all. You might make a good dancer, Chie Senpai. Yeah, those are Chuck's ladies right there. <laughs> hey, you see that? We'll never do what you want us to. And there's my man's Hey Yosuke. Hell yeah! We're gonna say that Ochimizu chick to you here. Oh, that's right. Ochimizu like sacrificed herself. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh. Oh, I also watched Boruto. Um, so like the, like that one kid that was Konohamaru's friend that like kept like with the runny nose. He's like the the sensei for like uh, Rock Lee's clone and like these two other dudes. But um, anyways, this guy, this fucking guy, he has like the, the funniest jutsu. I swear, like because he has like a runny nose, like he doesn't. It doesn't visibly run anymore, he just sniffles a lot. But, anyways, he fucking uses his snot as jutsu, like, he can, like, he can, like, um... It's basically, like, water style. And then, he can freeze it, too. Make, like, these huge, like, snot well, sickles. like you, you're special oh. to me, you know? Elliot, hey, hello! Thank you for subscribing, you don't have to. But it's always appreciated. Like, selling your soul does help this channel, so thank you, thank you. First year. Yeah! Wait, yeah, it's been a- it's been a year! Just about a year, yeah, since we started, like, I think- yeah, like, that just about checks out when I started, like, doing the subscriptions. But nice! I'm go- I'm doing good! How are you doing? Nice to see you here. But yeah, like, the, this dude in our- or, okay, Boruto, he's got, like, this fucking snot jutsu, and I <laughs> couldn't stop laughing. Um, also, Shino got drunk, and, like, when he gets drunk, he can't, like, control his bugs, so, like, he just ends up, like, making this whole, f like, um, like, a whole huge-ass swarm of bugs, like, you know, kind of, like, just, like, not attacking the village, but, like, they're, they're just, like, going berserk. I, I, it was just kind of funny just seeing him get drunk, but anyways, that was that. You forgot to mention you were a Lyra, Pandora, acrylic stand, and pin arrived today. Now you can look at her stand as much as you want now. Yeah, like, I, I saw that in your channel. The stand looks really nice. Like, she looks- she looks pretty. So yes, inhale that Ewiwa serotonin whenever you want. And yes, in- in the East Coast and anywhere that's not like, you know, Mountain Time Central- wait. I think central time too. 
Anyways, if you're on the East Coast, it's Akechi's birthday, so yeah. There's like so many, um, there's so many Persona birthdays like this month. Like, Saturday is gonna be Maki's slash Mary's, you know, from Persona 1. Um, birthday, um, what is it? Balfu's birthday is like the 13th from Persona 2. And then obviously, my dear husbando Yosuke, his birthday is the 22nd. And then Ken's birthday is like right before mine on the 24th, so... <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of juniors today. I mean, this month. Nani? Stando? Yes, an acrylic stando. Shino breaks one of the three ninja rules of no drinking like Jiraiya. <laughs> Say it ain't so, oh, oh. It was actually accidental. Like, um, what's her, what's her name? Hanavi? Like, uh, Hinata's little sister? She shows up and she's like, come on, Shino, let's get drunk! And he's like, no, I can't. And then, like, she accidentally, like, um, she trips and, like, falls on top of him. And, like, the bottle of sake that she had lands, like, directly into his mouth. So, like, he just chug jugs it and he gets, like, instantly drunk and then the bugs happen. Rip Doji's cancelled birthday. I would've- I don't know, it's weird, like I have- I actually do have his birthday like saved on my phone, but like it didn't remind me like it usually does. I have to make sure I double check the reminder for next year. Cause like, Daddy Dojima gotta celebrate. But I mean, hey, at least he did show up on like the stream we were doing on his birthday. So we kind of celebrated without knowing. But yeah, gotta- gotta remember his birthday. It's gone again, but Ms. Ochimizu must be pretty far away by now. Yeah, what the hell's up with that Ochimizu chick? I can't believe she pulled a double cross like that. And after we worked so hard to get this far, not gonna lie, I'm shocked that nothing we've done has gotten through to her. Tried so hard, it got so far. In the end, it didn't even matter. Uh, excuse me, un ugh, unless there's more to it. As the adrenaline wears off and the reality of our situation sets in, Miss Ochimizu words Miss Ochimizu's words come back to haunt us. Miss Ochikizu, yes, that chick. Yo 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 yo, how we doing today? Yes, ma'am, it is Risei's birthday. Yeah, we're celebrating our favorite idol. And she's here. Like th this is perfect. Like a P4D stream landing on her birthday, it's absolutely perfect. Doji returns home to six cupcakes from his daughter. The cupcakes are the size of mangoes. Those are some pretty big cupcakes, damn. Nanako be baking out here. Anyways, I can sympathize, but we don't have the luxury of getting caught up in our anxiety. Let's keep trying. We never give up. We'll keep trying, no matter how many times it takes. Yes. All of us butted heads plenty of times before we came to understand each other. Don't you think we owe the same to Ms. Ochimizu too? Unsupervised. Yeah, good thing- good thing she didn't burn the house down. Unless. <laughs> you just finished your run? Gonna stretch and shower later. Nice, nice. Yeah, getting- getting the good exercise. But yeah. Get- get those, uh, legs stretching. And shower, stinky. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but like, your Ryuko Matoi figure also got shipped, so pretty good day. Nice, nice! Yeah! Well, can't wait for that to come in. Yeah, man, everyone's goods are coming in. This is good. Very good news. <laughs> Some bunch we are. That's the thing we were trying to express. We managed to forget it ourselves. Nanako, burn the house down. Watch out! I don't know the. <laughs> I don't. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. I only really know burning down the house. We look to each other and nod, smiling. Yeah, this is how we've always done things. Now and for everything to come, we'll move forward together, alongside our friends. Anyway, we should compare notes. Looks like we've learned some new things. Oh, right. You said that those shadows are the victims, right, Notokun? Right. But first we should tell you what we found out. After that, we can hear what you've learned. Very well. The floor is yours, Senpai. What's wrong, Risei? Oh, nothing. 
I was just thinking that you really are still our leader, senpai. Okay, yeah, I was waiting for I was waiting for the lyric spam. Watch out! You might get what you're after. Cool babies. Strange but not a stranger. I am an ordinary guy. Burning down the house. Yep. Burning down the house. Good song, BT Dubs. Come on, let's get out with the powwow. Naoto's group presented us with a quite a surprising revelation. According to them, the shadows here may have been forcefully drawn out from the victims that watched that video at midnight. If that's true, then this might explain why the victims in the room where Naoto spoke of fell into comas. For our part, we told them about how those dressing room notes were from the diary of a deceased idol named Yuko Osada. We also shared our theory that the culprit is someone in Takura Productions, given what they know about Yuko-san and Kanamine Kitchen. It was a bit of a surprise that they had found new evidence all on their own, but we are proud of how much they've grown. I get it! When people watch the video on the site, their shadows get pulled into this world! It's still just speculation, but considering the evidence at hand, I see no reason to doubt it. I'm mostly surprised that voice isn't a ghost! We don't really know much about it. You know... This is kind of a shock for me. I knew about Yuko Osada too, but I never would have imagined those notes were hers. Does this mean the culprit is someone involved with the agency, knew about the Konami and Kitchen Girls, and knows a lot about Yuko-san? Is there anyone who fits that description at our agency? Wait. Hold on. <laughs> my my I yammed already. What were what were you saying? Someone involved with the agency knew about the Konami and Kitchen Girls and knows a lot. Oh shit, I mean, hmm. I mean, I still- Both of them, but- No, Miss Ochimizu works directly with them. Yeah, go with her. Third year surprised the group, including Naoto, made deductions. Yeah. Rise, what about Miss Ochimizu? Any possibility that she might have known Yuko-san? Adachi. Adachi did it, yeah. That- that's the real- the real truth here. Miss Ochimizu? Oh! There is something I heard from Anoe-san once. Before Miss Ochimizu went freelance, she used to be with Takura Productions. So it would make sense for Miss Ochimizu to know about Yuko-san! NANI?! Risei's words leave us all shaken. After all, just a moment ago, Miss Ochimizu- What are we saying here? I mean, it was just a few minutes ago that she- Mm-hmm. She was trying to sacrifice herself to get us home. That's it then. Our first job is to catch up to Ms. Ochimizu and rescue her. Even if she's not the culprit, if she knew Yuko-san, she should be able to tell us something. I can't tell how far we've been running. As we continue in pursuit of Miss Ochimizu, we catch sight of a silhouette up ahead. From here, it looks like there's one person in the center of a mob of shadows. That has to be her. Oh, isn't that All that talking just to figure out they gotta go rescue Ochimizu, right? She was re I mean, we were supposed to in the first place, but... Oh, I yeah, I guess. You kids, what are you doing here? Sorry, but we all decided that we weren't going to leave here by ourselves. Casualties would be minimal, but we don't intend to save ourselves by using others as stepping stones. Besides, there's something we need to ask you. It's about Yuko Osada. What foolish children. You and Yuko alike. Do know something. The hell are you hiding? Miss Ochimizu doesn't answer Kanji and simply tilts her head, glaring skyward. That voice must be here. I instinctively settle into a stance, prepared to confront the unseen master of the midnight stage. I know you're there. Our deal was clear. Return them to the real world at once. Oh, 
sorry, but I can't do that. Didn't I tell you before? The only ones who can enter this world are those who wish to do so. Oh shit, 500 points left until that MS Paint request. You are very close. Alright, I will brace myself for impact then. <laughs> Can't wait to see what we're, what that request is gonna be. Only those who wish to. It's pointless to follow me. Head back now while you still can. Seemingly giving up on negotiating with the voice, Miss Ochimizu speaks sharply and turns without waiting for our response. No. How can we get her to listen to us? As we start after her, the shadows that had been surrounding Miss Ochimizu block our path. I see. They weren't trying to keep her there after all. They were following her around as bodyguards. Oh, sheesh! Muda! I, <laughs> I had a feeling. That's right. We won't leave anyone behind. The Mudas are inevitable. I glance to my friends as the shadows begin their dancing. Yosuke, Yukiko, Chie, each one of them looks unflinchingly forward, staring down the shadows before us. Good. There's nothing to worry about. They won't hesitate anymore. So you're determined not to let us through, huh? Fine. We're determined not to back down, so there! But these shadows are the hearts of the LMB audience, aren't they? Thinking about it that way makes this harder to do. No. That's exactly why we need to express ourselves to them. Through the power of if dance. These shadows are trapped by the bond that voice talked about. And they need to see for themselves that this bond is right. Since he's right, this is perfect as practice for that Love Meets Bonds festival. Leave this to Teddy, Prince of the Dance. It's time for some sad Teddy Night Fever. Oh, I was like, who's who saw it? whatever, but it's just a Dumb Saturday pun. Well said, Teddy. This is your time to shine. The team- <gasps> Team 7 Nendoroids are available for pre-order? Ah, uh, my money. Nah, it's tempting. Are- Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I, I want to see. I want to see. They must be really cute. Hold on. Team 7 Nendoroids. Is this the recent one? Not Facebook, why- Oh, that's old. Hold on. New. I just want to see. I want to see them. Or is it like a restock or are they new new? Please send link, I want to see. I want to see my homies. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna look through each of those though. But anyways. Alright, Teddy, go get him! Such passionate cheers from the ladies. I'm feeling the heat now. You'll send a link? Okay, thank you, thank you. Well, that being said, bring on the cup step! No. Oh, but is this is this the Pursuing My True Self Ladies remix? Yeah. Oh, it's just a restock. Okay. Alright. Well, I'll look again. But thank you. I'll look at that, like, after this. This is a good remix. Yeah, listen to that synth.
Cub step. Seriously? I know. Teddy and his stupid bear puns. Yosuke, hi! Okay. This just got even better. Get him. They are. Oh. He do. Wait, he said the thing. We're Persona 4 dancing all night. Oh, right. Anyone interested in Pokemon? Those, the Scarlet and Violet tra trail of man. I'm looking forward to this game. Or these games. I'm not sure which one to get though, because like, I I originally wanted Scarlet because I like red. And also the the outfits that the trainers have like are a little more unique than like the violet ones. Because like, they at least have like plaid for their like uniform thing going on. And then like for violet, it's just, it's just a deep purple. I don't know, it just looks kind of plain, but it does look nice though. But like the professor, the professors are different depending on like which game you're choosing. Hi again, Yosuke. Like, there's a hot lady professor for Scarlet, and then a hot like dude professor for like Violet. But like he really looks like Giga Chad. So like the memes are there. But yeah, like they're both hot. But then I just realized, um, Scarlet like has like. They have like a prehistoric kind of aesthetic, like especially with the legendary and like the way Scarlet dresses. And then like I guess like there's a future vibe for Violet. Cause I don't know, like there's kind of a sci-fi kind of look to like whatever the mascot is for Violet. But yeah, I don't know, cause I maybe I should stick with Scarlet, cause like I do like my prehistoric stuff. I want more dinos. But yeah, trainers need to have Cuban Cossack uniform. I know, yeah! Like, at least that, like, you know... Like, militaristic uniforms have, like... They have, like, the, the drip to them. Like, they're always, like, they could be ornate, or d they just, like, have that kind of look. I don't know the word for it, but, like... They just look really, like, sleek. And professional. Like, this one, they just look like... They're, like, school uniforms, but, like, uh... No, they're they're kind of like maybe like Girl Scout Boy Scout kind of looks. I think especially with the hat and like the ascot that they have. But yeah, like <laughs> you go with military style uniforms, you're always gonna get something pretty cool. Straight laced, yeah, like that. You saw the porn Hector posted in Horny <laughs> Chill. Yeah, I mean yeah, he was pretty hung. <laughs> but yeah. It's Morbin time. It is Morbin time. But here, let me let me look at those restocks. Let me see the prices, because I'm tempted. We got Oh look at Jotaro, he's so cute. Got Mega Man <gasps> Hi Itachi. Hold on. Almost 50 bucks. They're cute though. Sakura's a little less. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. Ah, look at them. You haven't watched the trailer, you should probably do that. Yeah, like, um, you know, just to get a feel, like, we do see- Oh my god, um, there's a- there's a Pokemon called Lechonk. I know it's supposed to be, like, you know, based on Lechon, but I can't help but think they're, like, saying Lechonk, like, this is one chonky boy. But I mean, he is a chonky boy, he's- he's a pig. Oh, but yeah, I, I like- Oh, I think that's, like, a little Kurama acrylic stand. Cute! Damn it, Itachi only has a pin. Or let me see. He posted a ton of the fem prof. Okay, I only I only saw what he tagged me in. Again, I don't like looking at horny gel while I'm at work because they tend to pile up and it gets so annoying for me to have to go back to my phone to like look because obviously I can't be looking at that shit on, on the computer, you know? So that's why I have it on mute. I'm barely on horny gel because of that. I'll just like pop in every now and then. Yeah, I, I don't know why I said Morbin time, but it is- it's always Morbin time. But yeah, look at them, they're so cute! 
with his face. Uh, oh wait. Oh, that's right. They said that she'd have Katsuyu. Cool. All right. Well, cool, cool. I don't know if I just. Is there any Tachi in Android? Because I'd get him. I get him. Oh, there's a pre-order for the Black Ops version. Oh. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, look at him. He's on the little. <laughs> He's on the little post. Oh my god, that's so cute. Uh, and he's like 65 bucks? Fuck, of course he's gonna be more expensive. He's special. Ugh, I'm tempted, but... Ugh. Wait, the pre-order period ended. Never mind. Damn it, open him- bring him back. Or at least give us like regular Akatsuki Itachi. Oh my god. Ugh. Morbin time because they said the title of the game. Ah. Oh, I see. Okay. Anyways, let's go back to story. Teddy hits all of his one-of-a-kind dance moves, and as the shadows cheer him on, a gentle light slowly courses over them. That really was impressive. Teddy's dance had a lot of improvisation in it, but as far as self-expression, it was perfect. Akatsuki might be returning soon. Gee, I hope so. Yeah, cause then- then that's when I throw my money. I just need Itachi. Yeah, like, I could always use some more Itachi merch. No wonder he's the popular mascot of Juness. He really is a born entertainer. Thank you very much, everyone! I'm really glad you all understood. Hinata and Gara are also available for pre-order. Ooh, let me see. <laughs> yeah, okay, let me see. I want to see. I want to see these Nendos. Let's see. Oh, she's cute! <sighs> Excuse me. Let's see, pre-order period. Oh! They're so cute. Oh, and she has the little uh, lion fists or whatever it was called. Oh, Nitoku. Yeah, she's adorable. Oh, hold on. Wait, did I? Oh, never mind. I think these are the same. Let me see Gara. Gara. Gara is the homie. Oh, he's so cute, and he's got the sand too. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh yes, <laughs> you go give Sasuke that sand coffin. Oh, wholesome. Oh, how nice. Okay. Yeah, okay. I don't know. I I, <laughs> I would like a Naruto Nendoroid, but I can't be spending my money, especially before AX. I'm trying to save up. If I, if I need to buy anything, it's like, you know, the actual cosplay material I need. But <laughs> I, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait before I decide. Yeah. It's you we pity for believing this is anything like a true bond. Here's Itachi's hopefully that hopefully returns. Oh, of course, yes, the cafe expenses as well. Yeah. Yeah, we d <laughs> Yeah, I can't be spending too much. Oh my god, he's got his Susano. He's so cute. <laughs> oh, look at him. Oh, and he's got the bleeding eye. He's got Amaterasu too. Oh, just oh, look at all these Nendos. Okay, I'm not gonna look at all of them. It's just... Oh. Oh, you can take his coat off? Or the robe? Oh. <laughs> you were gonna ask if the cafe posted their prices for the food. Um, I don't think... Um, they're not on the menu. I'm. Let me see if they have any updates to that. Persona 25th Anniversary Cafe. You're back and squeaky clean. Hell yeah, love to hear it. Nice and fresh. But yeah, now you can just sit back and relax. But let me see. Do they have... Or hold on. Do they have the menu prices? Let's see. Expect overpriced, right? Let's see. Yeah, we know the menu's revealed. Do you have... Oh! Oh, that's not bad. Okay, five bucks, eight bucks. They have the LeBlanc curry. Ooh. Okay, yeah, the the drinks are a little more expensive, but like, yeah, seven seven seventy five. I, I, is that pretty good? But they have the curry too. They have the curry now. This is a new update. Twelve bucks. 
Yeah, LeBlanc Curry, this is new. Oh, that looks pretty good. You know, I've never really had Japanese curry before. Either that or like, I don't know, this looks like something I've eaten before, but like, I don't remember what the Filipino term is, but like, yeah. I just haven't had Japanese curry. But I'd be willing to have that. That looks good. It's making me hungry. Ah, oh, fuck. Japanese curry is good? I take your word for it. Like, it does look good. As long as it's not spicy, I will try. You like how I went from raving on about Team 7 Nendoroids to actually say Ugh, when it came to Itachi? I know, listen, he's- he's my mans. That was like... He was like one of my first husbandos. Oh my god. But yeah, they updated the menu, I don't know- Could the- I hope they- I hope they add more items. Maybe they're gonna slowly reveal more because if we can get those acrylic, um, like- like characters like let me let me compare let me compare um let's see persona 25th anniversary cafe japanese like i just want the fucking i want brad the chad like the little acrylics that they have and also yosuke just oh, fuck hold on like few characters carry food items like where do they show the menu because i know like somewhere like showed like the whole menu but i don't i don't remember where it is what <gasps> see like this is this is the stuff i want i want yosuke <laughs> it's not fair i don't know like i'm hoping or like oh yeah they have they have persona 2 as well uh, just like see they're so cute but like where's brad the chad hold on show me brad the chad i need to see him again i need to see my boy yes Yes, I need- this is what I need. I'm tempted to buy the blind packs, but it's like gotcha, you know? You don't- you don't know who you're gonna get. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't mind getting any of the characters. Just like, if I had the Persona 4 one, I'd be disappointed if I got Teddy. <laughs> but like, yeah, they're all cute. They're all cute though. Uh, never mind. I'll- I don't know if they have the menu, like, the Japanese menu up, but I know that they have like- they had like character-themed items on their menu. Like, where is my- where is my Brad juice, man? <laughs> You'll gladly spend eight bucks for Kotone's milk? Oh yeah, it's worth it. Absolutely. Yeah. And I'm okay spending eight bucks on, you know, the Yosuke juice. The, the, that Juness lemonade, it's the closest thing I can get to Yosuke juice. So yes, it's the goods. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who wouldn't want Katone's milk? She's worth it. You wonder how the size of the curry will be, though. Yeah, that's true, because, like, you know, the plate... It, it, it looks like a little spoon. I don't know, though, because, you, you know, like... You don't know, like... They're, uh, like the photography, like, techniques, they might zoom in on it to make it look bigger when it actually is pretty small, but who knows? It better be worth 12 bucks, though. Yeah, like, if it's, like, bloated price with, like, small portions, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> and, like, it, like, it, it doesn't look like the best curry in the world either, but, like, still, it, it is curry. It does look good, but, like, yeah, if you get small portions of that, I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it, but I mean, hey, you can if you want to spend your money on that, sure, why not? Hey, get back here, damn it! Oh no, it's gone again. Just as they say, the voice's presence is faded. Once more, we are on our own. You hope they do something at Comic Con? I th I hope so too, cause you know. Obviously, there's, like, fans over in the East Coast, especially, like, you know, over in New York. Obviously, like, you guys are a bigger city, so there has to be something. I'm hoping, too. Because, like, I just feel sorry for anyone outside of California, because, like, you, you guys aren't getting, like, the cool stuff, at least, at least as far as we know for the official announcements. But then again, your Comic-Con was, like, what, October? So, who knows? Maybe they might announce stuff. We'll see. Honestly, it's a little exasperating. We've come this far, but it still won't show itself or actually have a conversation. The updated menu with the curry looks good, right? 
Looks small, but a worthy lunch to get. Yeah, like if you're not feeling too hungry and it actually is small, I'm sure I'm sure that'll be worth. Cause it does look good. But yeah. Hmm. We did at least learn one important thing from what the voice said. They have better public transit, so you don't feel so bad. That is true. Yeah, like there. There is a subway in LA, but it's not as intricate as like the ones in New York. Like I don't know. I don't I don't really like see people going on the subways too much in LA, but I don't know. I've never actually gone to the ones there, but yeah. And of course the buses too. Yeah, the potatoes and carrots will fill you up. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, don't judge a book by its cover. Like that that stuff can be pretty filling. You used to take the subway a lot, but yeah, not as intricate. Yeah, because like you got you got like all sorts of different like um stations over there. There's meanwhile for LA it like only stops at a few places, I think. But okay. It, it, it's at least something if you don't want to take the bus or like car or bike. Which is pretty neat. Cool non-gaming stuff, but wait until they release the next non-gaming P25 item. Yeah, it's going to be the Persona condom. <laughs> or yeah, the, the Persona 25 gum compartment case with bullet USB. Yeah, like, you know, Teddy shaped, Morgana shaped, whatever. <laughs> Just watch. It's gonna be some shit like that. We did? Um... What? I got this- <laughs> we've been distracted, what, what, what did we do? Exactly. Oh, what the voice said. How people get here? Or was it Ochimizu's deal? I think it's how people get here. You just need Kotone's milk. And you know what? I feel that. Yeah. For you good old waifu. <coughs> Excuse me. That voice said that the only ones who can come here are those who want to. Besides the Philemon latte getting the curry for lunch. Yeah, like, you know, got a nice drink with the meal. Why not? Yeah, if that's what you want to do, go for it. Indeed. And I did do something crucial from that fact. Like... You want to try the cheesecake, but you're worried it will be too sweet? Yeah, see, I'm the same way. Like, I can't handle too sweet. Like, if I have too sweet, I start getting an aneurysm. <laughs> no, but like, but seriously, like, too sweet a little too much for me and I have to like, you know, put the plate down. Which is why I like, um, why I like, you know, like, ube- stuff like ube cake, because like, you know, Filipino cakes, they're less like, they don't really focus like on like, too sweet. It it's just the right amount of sweet. Not overly sweet. You might, maybe depending on where you go, you might get some like, um, pretty pretty sweet stuff, but usually when I have ube cake, it's not that bad. Like, it it's just the good amount of sweet. Just the right amount. Oh my god, yeah, watch Atlas do this. We've partnered with Johnson & Johnson to bring you Persona 25th Anniversary Dish Soap. <laughs> I mean, fuck, I'd buy it. I'd buy it. You know what, why not? <laughs> I could always use some more soap in the house, so like, if I can have like, you know... Give, give me the- give me the Persona soap. The good old golden soap. Right? Ube cake is so good. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm just getting hungry thinking about it. Ugh. I am so glad we have that red ribbon in town. You know what? My coworker was actually like asking the other day, Hey, what's that one bakery that's near Jollibee? It, it, like, you know, it, it's usually like, you know, with the Filipino stuff and I'm like, Oh yeah, red ribbon. Like she hasn't gone there yet, but like I was like, man, you gotta like try the ube cake. It's, that stuff is really good. And she's like, okay, I'll keep that in mind. But yeah. Oh god, yeah, the <laughs> $15 dish soap? Okay, on second thought, maybe I don't need it. God, yeah, like, Atlas with their overpricing, you know? Ugh. $50 soap is bullshit. I've actually been wondering about this the whole time. When we first came to this world, that voice half forced us out. Oh my god! <laughs> They'll sell soapy water and name it as Rise's bath water. They would! I can see them do that, <laughs> and people would buy it, because the Rise simps, and I can't blame them. If you slap that on with, like, Yosuke bathwater, I'd buy it. Fucking, why not? I'll give in to my desires, I guess. 
That place always reminds you of Dragon Ball and their Red Ribbon Army, right? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if they base like if they base th their like um their brand name off of like you know Dragon Ball's Red Ribbon Army? Actually, you know what? I don't know when Red Ribbon like was first established, so you never know. But I feel that. Oh God, the Ken bathwater. Yeah. Any everyone who like um. Everyone who orders the Ken bathwater is instantly going to jail. We all know that wouldn't be true, Yosuke bathwater. I know. He wouldn't want me to be exploited like that. That's true. That's true. He wants it directly from the source. You're right. But I mean, if it's the only way. If I can, if I can buy it and summon him somehow, then maybe. Maybe I could. Maybe I would buy it, but you're right. Yet when we returned to save the girls of Kahneman Kitchen, the voice never attempted to drive us away. This is despite how inconvenient it would be for that voice's plans if we had rescued all four of the girls. You know, it's true. If our being here could have messed up its plans, then you'd think all it would have had to do is force us out again. We all know my real desire with Yosuke is sex. Exactly. The oh no, the Yosuke bathwater contains one percent piss. Of course it would. <laughs> no, but yeah, I want to fuck Yosuke. You guys know. You guys know. Hell, I, I even made an AI dungeon scenario. It's like if he if he comes to this world, immediately, the sexing. That's literally how it starts. But yeah. Yosuke wakes up in a different dimension after dreaming about this stream. Oh, could it be? Could it be? Yes, Yosuke x Nikki. Uh, actual. I don't. I don't. I don't know where this is going. But yeah, if if he's in this world, then that's a dream come true. <sighs> Anyways, yes. from that perspective, I'd hesitate to believe that what the voice said was untrue. Actually, there's one mystery left regarding this point. There is. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I don't think it matters what I choose because they'll still point you to the right direction. I think it's the conditions. You have points to see that AI dungeon. You do. You could very well choose to if you'd so like to. Your choice. <laughs> you need conditions for falling into the midnight stage, right? Precisely. That's what the victims who found themselves here had in common. We just couldn't pinpoint it until now. But isn't that just how the people who watched that video on the site got here? Oh my god, I start off at AX gripping dead daffodils and Yamato after coming 69th in cosplay competition. Meets Yosu on the last day of AX. And I'd be dressed as him too. Yes. Yeah, we're matching and um, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> no, but the dead daffodils in Yamato again. I just Yamato, I can understand, but what's what's the dead daffodils? Why the dead yes, daffodils? That's the first condition. I like it though. But some victims fell into a coma, and some didn't, even when they were watching the video side by side. Is Yosuke wearing the drag outfit? If he is, then we really would be matching. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, and that is what I like to see. Until now, I couldn't determine what separated the two. Huh? I see your point. That is pretty weird. You updated the Anime Expo Google itinerary document. Ugh! I keep forgetting to look at it. I know it's there, but I, I need to look. I'll I'll <laughs> I'll take a look at it later. Yosu dressed like Yugi Moto. Oh, interesting. Okay. Well, that'd be an interesting cosplay for him. But you know what? I think Yosuke would like yu gi -Oh. He looks like the type. Yeah, with his Egyptian garb. Ooh, yes. Nice and saucy. <laughs> the, <laughs> the document will be so obvious when I see your text. Okay. I'm sure- I'm sure it is. I'll- I'll take- I'll, I can't wait to see it. 
You like how the drag outfit was planned early in development. I know, right? I just love that it's just there in the concept art. A little bit different, like, with longer sleeves, but still, like, they- they made his character and they were like, yes. They already had, like, a solid idea of, like, you know, him in drag. We're like, this character needs to be in drag. It has to happen. No, there's no other way. Whoop, 300 points left. We approach. That- that MS Paint drawing request comes ever closer. I mean, leaving aside Rise and the Kanamin kitchen girls who got brought here to perform. It doesn't make sense that some fell in while others didn't, if they watched the video under the same conditions. True. Indeed. But everything makes sense now. The victims were all people who wished to enter this world. Oh? Exactly! It's Yosuke's most powerful form. Exactly. Like... He doesn't realize it, but when he's in that outfit, just like all of that power gets unleashed and he doesn't he's not even aware. BRB, you're going to change into your your PJ jammies, your jammy jams. Okay. Well, yes, get nice and comfy and we'll catch you in a bit. Whoa, are you serious? Sarah's like You mean the bond, right? I see. You're talking about the bond that voice spoke of. The dead daffodils represent me having no green thumbs. Oh, I see. Yeah, the experience. I see. I got you. I got you. I like that. It's the leg. It's his legs. The more <laughs> the more he shows, the more powerful he becomes. Exactly. <laughs> Which is why we don't see him in a, in a thong, you know? If we saw that, I think that would just be too much. It'd be too much for my Kokoro, that's for sure. But I mean, I do want to see it. Yes. Actually, shit, I, I think- the desire Wait, I think I drew it once. Fall into the <laughs> he can be in a towel. That's fine. That's fine. It, it absorbs the power. Rather. It's the people who harbor a desire for bonds without pain the voice spoke of, somewhere in their hearts. The towel is like, kind of like a power limiter. So the ones who wanted this fake-ass bond fall into this place. Ah, that's why when we convey to the shadows about this not being a real bond, those ribbity things come whooshing off and they sparkle away back to where they belong. I think I can understand how they feel. We were all like that once. If I hadn't met all of you, I wouldn't have been able to show anyone my true self. Or it's to promote my new proto-punk album, Stroking Daffodils. You know what? Stroking Daffodils actually does sound like a good... a good album name. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Proto-punk? Can't go wrong with that. Yeah. It does... yeah. I can see it now. It's normal to want to be accepted while still being afraid of getting hurt. Yeah. It's like my inner self is so uncool that I wouldn't want anyone else to see it. Mm, well, your outer self isn't cool either, though. Rip. I think he's cool, though. Was that seriously necessary? Can't you see what I'm getting at? <laughs> Hold on. Th this definitely calls for a seriously? I have to. I must. He calls for it. Okay. Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. I half listen to Yosuke and Chie's banter while I mentally sort through the information we have at hand. That informazione. Who the culprit may be, the victims, the conditions for falling into this world. Good. That's quite a bit of information. Wait. I'm seeing the Yosuke scream redeemed, but... Has it played yet? Weird. Okay. You only hate on Yosu and Young Bow Wow because you secretly like their style. Oh, I see. Yeah. Bullying and hating because you secretly like them. I see you. I see you. But yeah, Yosuke's got style. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think so. We dress the same. <laughs> no play arena? Aww. I wonder what happened. Yeah, I see your- I see the redemption there, but what happened? 
The sound alerts were working earlier today, right? Let me let me check on that. Oh. Settings. Um What if What if I do this? Yeah, your sound alert isn't coming up either, as well. What the heck? Oh no. The Streamlabs being stupid. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I wish I could. I don't know if, like, I can, like, give back points. Like, it may just be 100, but still. Points are points. Alright, we should get going. We can't waste too much time. We have to express our feelings to Ms. Ochimisu and bring her back with us no matter what. She knew about Yuko-san just like we thought. Okay. Oh, I was just checking. There's like a little bell on the um, Streamlabs... Uh, the Streamlabs window. I was thinking that could have been a sound alert thing, but that's just news. And I don't need that. If she can tell us more, then we might be able to figure out who that voice really is. The voice inside your head. As we follow the lanterns that seem to light a path forward- Ugh, Excuse me! <laughs> that was a weird borva, I'm sorry! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Uh, as we- As we follow the lanterns that seem to light a path forward, we eventually reach a bizarre looking place. Are these... Cherry blossoms? <gasps> Sakura! Oh, there's a puppet what is show. This place? It's like a feudal lord's house from some samurai movie. Yeah, it's like a Tarantino. <laughs> it's a Tarantino filmarino. Yeah, that was my death noise right there. I know, like what the fuck was that? This is weird. Like I don't think I've that was like a new noise right there. <gasps> Should I be taking off my shoes? I seriously don't think that's where we are. And Teddy, you don't even wear shoes. Or does he? Seriously? Sumomo-san's dollhouse, Tamami-san's circus, Nozomi-san's castle, and Tomoe-san's cityscape. Oh yeah, maybe this is for Ochimizu. Piecing together what we've discovered, it seems clear that the landscape here reflects the person everyone wishes them to be. Which means... Look! Over there! It's Miss Ochimizu! Tell me one thing. Are you Yuko Asada? Should I be taking off my shoes? Teddy really is in a Tarantino movie. Yeah! <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to watch that. Can you imagine Teddy saying the N-word? <laughs> Look. Before you forget, if Marvel came out with a movie like Everything Everywhere All at Once last year, that would have been great, but some of the newer Marvel movies aren't as good as this movie. Right? Like, I mean, they're entertaining, but like, they don't have that, that certain, like, um... They don't have that feeling that Everything Everywhere All at Once has. Like, there, there's like a certain passion, like, to it, you can tell. And like, great storytelling, too. <laughs> Teddy and Django, yeah. <laughs> God, that be Fuck. Imagine. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you clipped my death noise. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I need. I need to hear what that like sounded like to you guys, because like that sounded weird enough to me. So like, what the fuck did you guys hear? Excuse me. Yeah, that was so weird. I'm sorry. That was so weird. Excuse me. It's it's like a weird groaning. Yeah, it's it sounds like I'm like groaning, but like like if if I smoke too many packs of cigs, like this is this is what I would sound like. That's what I would sound like if I actually smoked. Oh, I need to make the browser um bigger. There we go. That was so weird. <laughs> and it's so clear in the mic, too. Oh, fuck, I'm sorry. I, I turned- I had the sound off. At least we can play back here. Yeah, who knows? I'm sure you can ask the answer to that insult she's in 
Yeah, like I was wondering why it was so quiet. Anyways. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I'm yammed. I'm like, what? We heard this already. What, what happened to the game? I see. What? Did she really? Th that was out of the blue? Oh no, wait. Maybe maybe it's not what we think, like directly I killing. Then. I believed in things like doing your best and living honestly. Just the way you do now. Ask about Yuko. Is this about Yuko Osada? That's right. I was her manager. Mhm. Mm yeah, we thought so. Yuko Osada. I still clearly remember the anxiety in her face when we first met. Wow. Her manager? You must have known her well then. Yes, I remember Yuko well. She was uniquely talentless among the innumerable crowd of idols. Oh, mo How could you say that? It's the truth. She was immature as a performer. No better than an amateur. Just like you. How dare you! I quietly stepped forth before Risei and stopped her from barking back at Miss Ochimizu's words. It's okay. Now's not the time to be reproaching her. Even so, she and I worked hard. I remember how she'd always say, I want to convey to everyone how important it is to hang in there. I did everything I could to sell Yuko's name and grant her wish. I thought that if her fans took even slight encouragement from her songs, it would be worth it in the end. Miss Ochimizu. She was a hit. We both cried with joy over her success. So many fans showed up at her meet and greets that Yuko was exhausted by the end, and her concerts always sold out. Very quickly, Yuko rose to become a top idol. But around the time that song Calistegia was going to be released, both of us came to a realization. Without noticing it, we had arrived at a destination very different very far from what Yuko had wanted. I see now. Those notes that we found in the dressing room. They were cries for help written by Yuko-san. What is my favorite Yosuke line? Not counting the romance ro lines. Okay. Well. Oh shit, wh why did that disconnect? Okay, whatever. I can easily turn that back on. But, um, that's a good question. I don't know, it's really hard for me to <laughs> choose, but like, um, you know, obviously... Obviously, I really like the, um, uh, I like the... What? Seriously? It, it's just always fun hearing him say it. But, um, hmm. The Feel That Mighty Wind's also pretty good, but, um... Or, like, or maybe... Hold on, I actually... <laughs> I have, like, a whole soundboard. Um, I like... Wait, hmm... Huh, where'd it go? Oh, which one is it? Was it this one? I'm so sweaty. Not that one. Eat this, calm, exactly. No, where is it? Look at the size of it. Not that one. You're amazing. No? Where's the one where he's like, oh, this one, duh, I actually named it. She really is sexy. I wish she'd play to the crowd more. Just because I could be like, yeah, he's talking about me. <laughs> I don't know, it's really hard for me to, like, actually pinpoint, like, you know, one favorite line. Cause, like, I just like his voice. But, yeah, the, um... I mean, like, yeah, like, any any of the stuff that are, that's used for the sound alerts, they're they're pretty good. You know? But, yeah, I don't know, it, it's, it's hard, it's hard to say for sure. Oh, fuck, that's right, this thing disconnected. Here we go. Okay, you're back now. Yuko-san came to that realization when she wrote the lyrics about morning glories, about Calistegia. She realized that what she most wanted to convey to her audience wasn't possible in her current position. That's why Yuko-san... Changed the... No, she... I'm, I bet she didn't change the lyrics. I bet that was like Ochimizu's part. Yearned for a bond? That's why she was yearning for a bond. And because the song she wrote was about bonds, she changed its lyrics herself. Oh, so she did change it. Yuko realized that she had no bonds with anyone. 
Damn. The song that she wrote was no longer about the Yuko Asada that her fans imagined her as. She finally reached a point where she could convey her true feelings, but she lost the words to express them to her fans. That's awful. <laughs> but I realized something then, too. Yuko's wish was never attainable from the beginning. The most diehard fans immediately turned on me. They labeled me a murderer for crushing Yuko's dream. That's horrible. No, it's fine. I am a murderer after all. I killed Yuko. So the label fits. Damn, okay. Something's not right. The usual dry sarcasm has gone from Miss Ochimizu's voice, and in its place are tinges of madness. At the same time, the dark aura forming around her begins to swirl and cling, with a sense of dangerous volatility. Anger, sadness, hatred, suffering. Her mind must be churning with a storm of painful emotions. What the hell? Isn't she acting kind of weird? Oh, Miss Ochimizu is happy. How wonderful. Now the self that others wish her to be, and the self that she wishes for are in sync. What? Does that mean she's more powerful now? Mr. Chimizu is scary as shit. She's like some kind of hard ass veteran. You'd think she was born to be hated. Damn. Her whole way of talking just rubs you the wrong way. That she's good at her job and great looking too just makes it worse. Your favorite Yosuke line is him going, oh yeah, while his sprite changes from his neutral face to his winking one. Right? Like there's like there's that playfulness to him, like you know. With that line alone, like it's not much, but like you can just feel his his charming playfulness. I just mm. that wink of his, ugh. One of the reasons why I love him so much. I heard she's making stacks of cash preying on her idols. Then again, those are rumors that help Kanemhin's group sell so much. Yeah, it's just how you roll when you've got actual skills. It's fun to watch. From a distance, anyway. Yosu gambling with his life? Yeah. Cause, you know, in it for the thrills. And that's always fun. Bastards! They don't know shit about anything, so they say whatever they want. <laughs> Damn it! Mizuchimizu! Mizuchimizu! Shut up. Shut up! Shut up! Convey how you feel. That's impossible. No one wants that anyway. If we had just accepted that at the start, things wouldn't have turned out the way they did for Yuko. Oh, her shell's breaking. Man. Suddenly, ribbons shoot out from all sides, as if in reaction to Mizuchimizu's cry, and begin wrapping across her body. It's just like Tamami-san and the others. No, wait. It isn't. This is more like... Miss Ochimizu is offering herself up. Excuse me. Oh! Well then, okay. <laughs> the, the pointy booba. It's fine. It's fine. From the fools who won't even listen to the ones with nothing to say, I'll control every last one of them. Stream is pro Yosuke, of course. Yeah, cause my husbando always support him. I'm always here to lift him up. Dark aura explodes with force, 
blasting wind over us. Feel that mighty wind! We try to stand our ground, but we can barely keep our eyes open. At that moment, Miss Ochimizu's body disappears from the air before us. What appears instead is... Is this the big booba lady in the Signs of Love background? Oh wait, no, she's... Oh, she's the puppet master. Yeah, the titties. The titties are out there. <laughs> Waiting for Yosu to say, There was no other way! The world had to be fixed! Yup. There was no other way. Didn't have a choice. This is what it- This is- It has to be this way. The eerie song rings in our minds louder than ever before, and I can't help but grasp my head in pain, sinking into a crouch. Who could take that design seriously? I know, right? This is just out there. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, the PS1 Lara Croft boobs, exactly. Wait, is chat lagged? Hold on. Is the chat lagged? She's gone for me now. How do I... Where's my refresh chat? There it is. Stream's mega laggy for you, but that's probably your internet. No, like... I don't know, cause like... You guys aren't usually that lag. That was like for, for all of you guys. I refresh chat, so maybe things should be different now, but that's... That was weird. Let's see, the eerie song rings in our minds louder than ever before. And I can't help but grasp my head in pain, sinking into a crouch. The shadows that had somehow filled the audience sway their bodies in time to the song, seemingly trying to break our wills. Oh yeah, you guys are super lagged, fuck. Yeah, I was gonna say, look at me! The monster inside me has already grown this big! Wait, I don't- I don't know why you guys are suddenly lagged now. Everything was just fine a few minutes ago. But speaking of monsters, so I got to the part where, um, Dieter is hanging out with that one kid who, like, fell off the roof, but he- he survived. And, you know, just like, he's just all like, you know, bullying that one homeless dude, and then, like, in the end he realizes he can't be as strong as Johan. Yeah, the stream is buffering for you, too. I don't know, should I- hmm. I don't know if I should restart the stream or if it'll, like, fix itself. Hmm. Hold on, let me- Let me pause here real quick, see if I can do anything on here. Okay. I don't know why it's so lagged. Let's see. Streamlabs. Stream is lagging. Okay, let's see. Not dropped frames. Uh, not OBS. Adjust the stream settings? Hold on. Maybe I have to actually watch this video. Perfect blue reference. Haven't watched the movie, but the girls remind you of Paprika. Yeah! Also, do watch Perfect Blue. It's a good- it's a good movie. Like, hmm. Actually, it has been a while, so I can't really- Basically, what Perfect Blue is, from what I remember, is like, there's an idol, and like, she wants to like, move away from her idol career, so like, she's moving on with her life. I think. And then like, people are starting to get like, different perceptions of her, like, to the point where it's twisted and like, she starts like, losing track of who she is and like, she also has this stalker. But, yeah. Anyways, like, I don't know, if you're streaming, blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's my internet, I'm not sure. Hmm. I want to fix it while I'm doing this. No. Tweak the bitrate. A high bitrate's going to make- Could it be bandwidth problem? 
No, it's more like you guys are like timed wrong. Hmm. Let me. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going. Maybe it can fix itself. Otherwise, if it gets pretty bad, maybe I'll start the stream over. But we must go on. Let's see. The eerie song rings in our minds louder than ever before, and I can't help but grasp my head in pain, sinking into a crouch. The shadows that had somehow filled the audience sway their bodies in time to the song, seemingly trying to break our wills. Or you know what? This is tough. It's giving me a bigger headache than anything else. Okay, weird. Streamlabs is saying the, the stream quality is good. Let me refresh chat again. Either way, you gotta go to bed. Alright, well, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't tell if the lag's fixed itself or not, but thank you for dropping by, Ryan. Always appreciate it. Hope you have a lovely rest of your night and a good night's rest, and we will catch you later. See ya. Huh. Yeah, okay, maybe- maybe it's fine now. I'm starting to get- I'm starting to see comments coming up more frequently, I guess. This isn't right. Miso Chimisu has lost sight of the truth. Everyone, stand your ground. We can't lose here for her sake. <laughs> we get you, Senpai. It's up to us now. We're gonna get it through to her that what she wanted wasn't wrong. That Yuko chick's wish ain't impossible. Right. Risei, get ready. I know this won't be easy, but I'll keep trying to express our feelings until she understands. We know you can do it, Senpai! Show that Miss Ochimizu what you're made of! Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen you dance. Bring on the music! Showtime! Miss Ochimizu, I want you to- Oh, that's right, Maze of Life was in this. I, I keep forgetting the song was in this game. Okay, we're going a little faster than the story mode slow. I like they have the PQ like um checkerboard pattern there too. Excuse me, this can't be said. Oh, never mind, I'm not gonna see. Okay, never mind, I think I think my stream is still live for you guys. Huh. Yeah, because I'm getting slower response times. Oh, Rise! Hey! Yeah, birthday girl! There we go! You thought this was based on a real life- oh fuck, real life idol who committed suicide. Yeah, cause like, you know what? I mean, knowing the idol industry, I wouldn't be surprised if there was something similar to this. And howdy Hasu, hey, how we doing today? I really hope the stream's not lag now. Please tell me that lag went away. Cause I wanna talk to you guys. It's just weird. Okay. All right. You know what? Look, I'll I'll just tread tread the waters or whatever. We'll see if like it 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 feels like everything went back to normal, but I'm not too sure. I just want to get this weird droning noise out of my ears. Make it stop. Did we get through to her? Did you forget about our bond, Ochimizu? Weren't you gonna break our bond? No, no, I won't accept this. I'll never accept it. How stubborn are you? Just accept it already. Shut up. Why did it work for you, go? If you can convey your feelings to others, then why couldn't she? She needed to get good. Goddamn fairy tale! 
Nah, the real reason is plot armor. For you, the stream stops, then resumes after a few seconds. Okay, a weird buffer. Yeah, I'm getting another notification that I got dropped frames. You know what? Okay. Oh, I just hate to leave it at the like this weird droning here. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm like getting like these notifications. I don't know, is it like that for you guys too? Or like anyone else here? I feel like that might be the problem. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like my dad's running some shit. I'll- I can check. But I want to see if you guys are also experiencing the same thing. Cause I don't know, like, when I was looking on my phone, it, I was kind of getting that too, except it, it wasn't actually playing. But, um... Oh, we all know that deny her is never the answer. Mention calisthesia. That's not true! Then why did you go to the trouble of having Konami-san's group learn the song Yuko-san wrote? Am I getting through to you, Ochimizu? Exactly. Isn't it because you wanted everyone to hear her song? Because you wanted them to understand the feelings Yuko-san never got to express? Even if it's just a little bit? I... wanted them to understand? Oh, finally, that noise is over. The monster finally bursts, and all that remains is Miss Ochimizu, head bowed low. Yes, look at me! The monster inside me has exploded! Did we get through to her? Miss Ochimizu! Miss Ochimizu! How shameful of me. You just had to stump right into my heart and show off. I had you pegged as barely capable of participating in a school performance. Yep, we're pegged all right. And yet, here you are. Cutting through to my heart. She's crying! Aww. Ochimizu, I'll never accept it! Yosuke, accept it! Persuasion 100, exactly. Or- I can't tell if this is lagged or not. But man, she's crying. No worries, you be here? Okay, all right. I don't know, I just- I just hate having things lagged because, like, there's, like, this disconnect. Things are fine, no noises for you? Okay. Well, I mean, it did stop on my end. No, it, it's just from the game itself. Like, it, it's not the stream. Like, the, the stream problem here is, like, the lag, but, like, um... The game itself, like, had it so that the shadows were, like, doing this weird droning noise, so, like, I was stuck on that for a good several minutes. But I'm glad we got the music back. Oh, then you understand what we were trying to say. You're experiencing the same thing too. It might just be wait. What do you mean the same thing? Like like the lag or or are we talking about the noises now? Or or wait, no, hold on. The the stopping and going? Is it still doing that for both of you? Or any of you guys really? Everyone is scolding Kanji. She's okay now, and that's all that matters. Thanks, Yosuke. It's so weird having everyone talk over each other. But okay, smiles spread over everyone's faces, and a warm atmosphere settles over us. I'm so glad. All my efforts. No, all our efforts weren't for nothing. How many years did I waste? Groveling alone and taking out my pain and all those around me. I thought if people were going to hate me, I'd give them what they wanted. I was the worst, most despicable person I could be. I even went around claiming responsibility for the lyrics Yuko changed. Miss Ochimizu. Man. I was wrong. I need to apologize to you. And to Yuko. There's a lot we have to apologize for as well. No, we don't. The monster finally bur busts. Okay, you know what? I think I think this really is super lag still. <laughs> the monster was way back there. Hold on. 
Okay, you guys, hold on. I'm going to step out for a little bit. Let me let me just check to see what the fuck my dad is doing. Because maybe that's the reason. Because, like, literally, I've not, I haven't had this problem. If I ever have these problems, it's because something outside is going on, or it's just the, the internet. I really need to get my own ethernet. Ethernet. Okay, I'll be back. Requires a restart. Shit. If I have to restart this again, this is so annoying. Okay. All right. Um, I- okay, let me see if that did anything. Okay, I'll just keep going with the game, let's see if it- if it's fixed itself or- huh. I don't know if I should reset again though. Okay, I'll just wait it out and judge by your guys' comments. Well, I'll just keep going. So, uh... Let's see what Ochimizu has to say. You all expressed exactly how you felt. You proved to me that it's possible to convey your feelings to someone else. That alone is enough to release Yuko from her suffering. And me from mine. Ms. Ochimizu! No, I'm getting another notification. I don't know. What if this stream is unsalvageable? Wait! Oh, if I- <laughs> what was the other program I used before? Uh... Damn it, what was that other- Cause it- I've had problems like this before and I had to like restart on a different program, but I can't remember what that program was called. Hmm. Ugh, yeah, but I'm getting the drop frames detection. Ugh. I want to keep playing, but like, this is just so inconvenient. The game that my dad likes to play is called Azure Lane. But it's weird, because like, I know he's usually playing that, like, while I'm playing. So I don't know- <laughs> I want to say it's that, but if it's something else, who knows. But if it is Azure Lane, he needs to stop. Started it, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Okay. Um, I might have to reset the internet if it's really bad. Uh, okay. If I don't know if you guys heard that, but I think we might have to reset the internet. Wait, hold on. Let me let me mute real quick. And we are live again. Okay, Streamlabs is saying my stream quality is good, and my internet does seem to be working better. Like I don't know, my phone's my phone's internet wasn't actually working earlier either. Like we weren't on. Like, I was using 5G instead, but I think we should be good now. Ugh, excuse me. Wait. I can't tell if the game is quiet or, or what, but yeah, I think we should be good. Maybe I'll wait again. Okay, you know what? I can check. I can check to see if this is okay. Yeah, if the internet's back, then if I check back on the stream, maybe things should be fine. I really hope so, I just want to play game. I'm only here to play game and hang out with y'all. That's why I'm here. If I get anything that interferes, it, it just makes me- it makes me piss. Working? We're working? Hey Jack, what's up? How we doing? Can you hear me fine? Uh, is- is anything lagged? Let me- let me see for myself, but- oh wait, actually, why- I check on mobile, that's lagged anyways, but, um, okay. It should be working now. You think it's working? Alright, perfect. Perfect, yeah, I think it's working too. Sounds good? Alright. Okay. I think we're good now. We're finally back to normal. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Like, there, there was something messing with the upload rate, I think. I don't know what happened, but we reset the internet, so we should be good. So, uh, we're back here. You, who denied your true self for years and became the cold woman everyone wanted you to be. Okay, I was wondering why the game was quiet. I guess the music just stopped. It looks like you're just on a s two second delay, so good. That's pretty decent, yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know if you're on mobile or what, but that- that's 
of that's a normal delay compared to like what was just happening right there so i think we're back to normal thank god Ugh, i just wanted to play but here we go suddenly the voice echoes again and we instinctively stand ready to protect miso chimizu but it looks like that's no longer necessary Damn, this is gonna suck for me editing the VODs together, because like I I have to like download each and in every like individual VOD and then like connect them together. That's what I had to do. Like there were there were times when the streams like would also like do like that weird stop or lag. Like it was like maybe a few months ago. And it was annoying because I had to like, you know, download all the VODs and just like mix them in like one program. Ugh, I don't wanna have to do that again, but I'm left with no choice. It does feel bad. Like, man, I, all I wanted was to play a game and hang out with you guys. But anyways, at least it's working now. I glance towards Miss Ochimizu, but she pushes past us and stands resolute. Her former confidence now returned. Poisoned? Yes, I suppose they have poisoned me. What about your deal? If you discard everything of the you that everyone wished you to be, you will face the same suffering again. Oh, look at her dramatic point. <laughs> I revoke my deal with you. I'll make no more compromises. Yeah, you go, Ochimizu. <laughs> I, I like Yosuke's face here, too. Uh, look at them. The Kanamine Kitchen Girls, these shadows you speak of, and even you. I will save every last one of you from this place. Uh, isn't it us who will do the actual saving part? Exactly. Like, I appreciate the determination, Ochimizu, but we have the power. Never mind that. Be quiet or she'll hear. <laughs> and Teddy's face, too. He's got that fish lip going. Tell us more. Elaborate. I'm appalled. And you call yourselves professionals. You couldn't even figure that out despite hearing it so often. Uh, no one said we were pros. A beam of light shines down in the center of the stage behind us, and the usual dressing room door appears. But, is this the usual door? No, something's out of place. I take a closer look at that door and realize there's something unusual about it. Yeah, like that handle looks very secure. Whoa, another door! Wow, these things can show up anywhere. Maybe I should start calling them anywhere. Nope. Everything anywhere all at once? Not like the other doors we've seen. This one leads to an edit bay. Ah. Edit bay? It's something like a booth used for recording and sound editing. This one looks like the door to the room at Takara Productions. Hold on, let me check inside first. Okay, it seems safe. I'm not sensing any shadows in there. You didn't get that reference from Teddy? I think he was just like... Just being all like, these doors should be called anywhere because they'll pop up anywhere. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's supposed to be a reference to anything. If it is, I don't know. Rise, stop sounding like that. I know. Stop. Stop. Get your normal voice back. Yeah. That <laughs> give, give her some helium. Maybe that'll go higher. Was Teddy going to say a pun? Maybe. I don't know, I was just thinking like, he was like, yeah, because the doors pop up everywhere, we're just gonna call them anywhere. I don't know though. It's just Teddy being Teddy. Let's take a look inside. Follow me, everyone. Maybe something with translation. 
Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, we're back to economy. Okay. But yeah, they're usually good at making them well translated though. Oh, wait, the Anywhere Door is from Doraemon. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I don't watch Doraemon, so that's why that one went over my head. But yeah, okay. Interesting. All right, well, back to Konami then. Talk with a- oh wait, right. For real! <laughs> yeah, for real! Takura Productions dressing room. Inoue-san called me here to discuss something pretty shocking. Oh, uh, I mean, the news wasn't really bad at all for me personally. It's just that Dojima-san, who had been told the same details with Nanako-chan before I got there, was sighing with a look of exasperation on his face. Shadow Ochimizu's titties be like... Oh, yeah! What is this from? Hold on. You guess Chie doesn't like that show. I guess not. Didn't want it. Didn't want to hear it. Yeah, she seems more like a Fist of the North Star kind of girl. Oh, wait. Yeah, since I reset Streamlabs, let me, uh, have to reset the... There we go. Yeah, the pointy booba. Exactly. Hey, Dojima. Oh, it's Power Rangers, Rita Repulsa. See, here's the thing. I've never actually watched a full episode of Power Rangers. But it's funny, like, someone- I think one of my relatives gifted me, like, um, Power Rangers pajamas. Like, um, specifically, like, they were pajamas made to look like the Pink Rangers uniform. But I never wore it, because, like, I, I just- I just never opened it from the casing, because, like, well, I- I never watched Power Rangers. But, you know, I kind of regret it because, like, their uniforms are pretty cool. And it'd be like Featherman. But yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you neither, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I just never really, like, grew up watching it. But I mean, it seemed cool. Like, the Super Sentai shows look pretty cool. So it's cool that, it's cool that, like, you know, the U.S. got, like, their adaptation of it. Maybe they actually- they actually were Phoenix Featherman pajamas. Damn, well that makes me even more sad, because then I could have been Yukari. Man. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but the reactions Nanako-chan got from our audience based on the TV spot we recorded yeah, you, tremendous. You know, I'm pretty sure that my mom sold off those pajamas anyways, but I need to get them back now. <laughs> the agency begged me to at least make an offer, and that's why I'm asking you now. Yeah, I, I get that sitting here politely explaining every detail. That's not a reason to allow her to be in this LMB thing. <laughs> I sincerely apologize. Do know that we greatly appreciate your cooperation. I know, yeah, like, they, they were trying to, like, have hints of Inoue possibly being evil. Like, yeah, imagine if he was the mastermind. It was him all along. It was me, Austin. That certainly would be a twist. But yeah, no, like, honestly, I was kind of just low-key kind of suspecting what if it really was him. But nah, it's not him, it's not Ochimizu. Wait, so did they basically confirm that the voice is Yuko or... No, wait, I, I, shouldn't, I shouldn't ask. Maybe they'll re reveal more. That's right. Inoue-san wanted to suggest a dream scenario, a joint performance with Nanako-san at the LMB Fest. He has literally zero traits of an evil mastermind, in your opinion. Yeah, like, he doesn't act like it. You never know, though. He could be hiding it, but yeah, like... Yeah, e even if, like, even so, like, I, I still don't feel like he has, like, the vibes. Even if he was, like, trying to hide it. But again, you never know with plot twists. But yeah, we, we, we know he's good. For sure. Of course, it won't be a joint performance with the important new song we were planning to announce. But the idea was for me and Nanako-san to appear together in the time slot where Kanamine Kitchen would have performed. <laughs> in no way reveals his middle name is Adachi. Boo! Adachi! Boo! Dojima freaks out. Adachi! Boo! Imagine that. And again, one of the biggest reasons we're even considering it is because Tamamine and the others are still missing. Still, considering I'm the only one left, I felt so relieved that I wouldn't be performing alone. Yay! I get to be on stage with Nanako-san! I'm getting so hyped! 
Oh, look. <laughs> Nanako's dressed up in the Mickey D's outfit. With everything that's happened lately, Kanami chan has seemed a bit glum. You ended up listening to hip hop tracks while I was fixing up the stream? Yeah, you know what? Getting, getting the nice vibes. Yeah, you know, spend your time wisely. Nothing like listening to some good music. But with Nanako chan around, she's finally brightened up again. Well, Nanako seems to be having fun with all this too. If this is what she wants to do, I've got no reason to stop her. Hey Josh, what's up? How we doing? But, let's be clear on one thing. In an instant, Dojima-san's voice turns sharp and stern. Immediately sensing that he's going to bring up the disappearance of Yu-san's group, Tamamine and the others, I turn to face Inoue-san and Dojima-san. You're good. Aw, watching your favorite streamer. I'm, I'm flattered. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad I'm your favorite. Like, I'm really glad that you're enjoying these streams. Yeah. It makes me happy. But yeah. Uh, what might that be? What's your next move here? I've heard from your agency that you've lost contact with a number of people. I myself haven't been able to contact you or his friends these past few days. Yeah, kind of sussy, huh? Depending on how things go, I may need to step in on this. Yukun and his friends are missing. Wait, he didn't know? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I guess he wouldn't know. The honor is yours? Good, good. If they hadn't been in touch for just a day or two, I could have brushed it off as kids being kids. But I've about reached my limit here. I don't plan on throwing my weight around and making decisions for you, but my nephew and his friends could be at stake. I know this might not be what you want to hear, but I'll do what I have to. Yeah, I know. If they've been in there for a few days, yeah. What are they doing about eating, sleeping, etc.? Doesn't Yosuke have to pee? Exactly. Or, you know what? The, I think in the TV world, like, time flows differently for them. So maybe that's the case, but even so, a few days, that still would have been a while. Maybe this midnight stage is different, who knows? That That's a good question. It is weird. Inoue-san, um... Let's... Let's file a report, I guess? I mean, both of these are kind of the... Or one's like kind of an indirect ask the police, the other's like, let's ask them, ask them. Either way, none of these results are gonna get you anywhere. Let's... Okay, I guess I guess we should direct... No, let's file a report. No, let, let's directly ask them. Like, if you if you talk in person, maybe... I'd like for us to go to the police and have them look for the missing girls, too. I know this is right before the festival, and it might cause a stir. But we don't have the luxury of looking the other way anymore. So please, I'm begging you. Konami-chan. Your favorite streamers yourself are Aw, me, Alira, Pandora, and Pomo Rainpuff. That's it. Aw, well, thank you. Yeah, again, I'm really glad you like my streams. Wow. I don't know if that's ranked or anything, but if it is, thank you. Yeah, again, I, I really... I, it really makes me happy that you guys, like, enjoy watching the streams. Yeah. And it is fun hanging with you guys, too. Alright, I'll try swaying the agency on this. It's not ranked, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna be like, yeah, me number one. But yeah. And if that doesn't work, I'll go to make the missing persons request myself, not you. Huh? No, you can't. If you do that. What? Lucas the Spider is on Cartoon Network? As a show? Really? What? You think that that kind of stuff would be on, like, I don't know, Sprout or some shit? Weird. <laughs> I'm your manager, Konami-chan. It's my duty to protect you. That's why I want you to focus on your work and not get distracted by other things. Granted, you may think it's a little late for me to be saying this now. In no way, son. I'll contact a few people I know and try my best to keep this close. I might ask you a few pointed questions, but there's nothing I can do about that. Please be prepared for it. Of course. I'm very grateful for your assistance. Thank you. That's when Nanako-san looks up at us, worried. She had just been watching the conversation up until now. Dojima-san seems to already know what she's about to say. His face visibly shifts from detective mode to dad mode as he scratches his head. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you okay? Are you a dad? <laughs> Are you 
fighting. No, Nanako, we're not fighting. Other people. I don't like spiders, but Lucas is cute. You. I. You like spiders, but Lucas is creepy. It's like Uncanny Valley, but for a spider. The eyes are too big. I just don't like- I just don't like spiders. Like, I don't know. I don't like him either. Because he's a spider. He's okay to look at for, like- like, for me, like, when I see, like, animated spiders or whatever, that's- that's okay, because, like, you know, it, it is- it's more of a cartoony version of a spider, so that- I'm okay with that. But, yeah. I- I, st I still- I never read that. You hate spiders, right? I hate them too! Like, if I- if I see a spider, I will, like, scream. Except- except for the little ones, I'm- I'm okay with those ones now. And also tarantulas. They're- I- I just like them because they're fuzzy. But anything else, I'm just like, ugh. You hate clowns. Yeah, well, that's- that's understandable. They- they can be pretty creepy. I don't know, I'm- I'm okay with clowns. I'm not scared of them or anything, but, uh, I don't know, like, um, Worthy Kids? Like, he does these really good animations and, like, he has, um, he has, like, a web- a webtoon kind of thing called a wait I'm, I'm yamming but it was like big top burger yeah big top burger and basically it centers around like a clown themed truck and it's very entertaining but like he made clowns look badass like in his um short wire like he made like a, a song or i don't know what the story is but there's a song called wire that he made and it goes well with this animation and, and, I don't know, like, what's for what, but, like, it was really cool, like, some clowns versus vampires kind of things, and, like, the clowns looked really cool. Nonsensical must love it. <laughs> you chose not to watch it, and I understand, yeah, because, like, if you, if you hate clowns, then, you know, you're not obligated to watch it unless someone forces you to watch it, but, <laughs> yeah, you don't have to watch it. Out a lot. Yeah, a very big help. Yeah, Dojima to the Feel rescue. Timeless! Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Hey! Feel that mighty wind! But thank you! Thank you for raiding! Wow! Been a while since we had a raid. But yeah, I appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, Timeless Party. How we doing? Hope you enjoy your time here at the stream. Yo, yo, X Shifty, welcome. And also, hello, B. How we doing? Wait. And hello, Reite! Yeah, welcome, welcome. Yeah, enjoy your stay here. Also, wait, I just realized, but I think the reason why the sound alerts didn't work earlier was probably- That was probably, like, a little hint, you know, foreshadowing at the stream of just being, like, laggy. But at least we're, we're done with that. But yeah, hello, Timeless. Like, how are, how are all of you doing today? Tonight, wherever you are. Yeah, we're just chilling here. Really? With some P4D story. Really? Your dad is a super cool guy, Nanako-san. Yeah, I love dad too. Yeah, everyone is so great. Dojima-san, Nanako-san, Yu-san and his friends, even Inoue-san too. I'm honestly envious of them. The people around Risei-senpai and Yu-san are all so wonderful. I wish I could be that way too. You're amazing. Oh, hey. The agency about this. Oh, wait. I could have sworn I saw maybe I'm mixing you up with some someone else. But thank you for joining the High Bucker Gang Timeless. I appreciate it. Yeah, always nice to see another follower. But yeah, I hope you enjoy your time here with us. And yeah. Konami John, feel free to start your lesson whenever you're ready. Thank you so much, Dojima-san. Now we can finally get the search for those girls started for real. For real? That in no way is not a bad man. Yeah, I always appreciate it, man. You feel, I'm sure he'll take the proper steps. Yeah, we really got through to him. I've never said things like that to anyone before. <laughs> I can't believe what I said. Well, opening up to others can be hard. Sometimes, sharing how you feel could end up hurting you. But unless you do that, nothing will change. It's all the more important if it's someone you care about. Anyway, I'm sure this isn't over by a long shot. Hang in there. I will. I have something to say, too! Mm. Oh. I really like you, big sis. <laughs> 
Oh, Nanako's too precious. I felt that. <laughs> I'm so happy! You really cheer me up, Nanako-san! Really? And I'm happy too! Dolls creep you out as well because of Chucky. Yeah, that was a freaky movie. I liked it though. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I know dolls creep out a lot of people, but I really like those antique dolls. Like, there's just something about them. They have like a charm to them. I like their style. Did I notice the poser, uh, the poster of Konami and P5? No, I haven't. If I pass by it, I need to go back and check. Interesting, I didn't know she had like a cameo too. I know there's like a Risei poster, I think. But, interesting. Did Nanako's hair get darker? It does look darker, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think they shaded it darker. Those the evil ones? Yeah, the antique ones. I don't know, I, I just really like them. They're really pretty to me. The economy poster is at the train station for the J line at Station Square. Oh, okay. Let me take note of that so that the next time I play P5, I'll go look for it. It rotates with the Risei Sapphire poster. Oh, they're both connected. Interesting. But yeah, like, I, I know that there's, like, the Risei Naoto cam cameos, um, but I didn't know that Konami was referenced. That is interesting. Alright, dial it back a little. Don't you two have a lesson to be at? You're right! Ah! Yeah, same, I felt that. We really don't want to keep Coach waiting too long. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Yeah, Coach is scary when he gets angry. Just the other day, I accidentally slept in and ended up late for my ballet lesson. L find the link? Oh, yes. Yes, thank you. I would like to see. It was a relève pas? I don't know. I can't speak French. Something. Basically, you go on tiptoe and bring the other toe to the pivoting leg's knee. Coach made me hold that pose while he lectured me on and on. Yeah, like, I used to do ballet, but I totally forgot the name. I only- the only, like, move names I remember are, like, um, the plie, and, uh, oh, shit, I forgot already. I had to do this one back, um, when I was on the Flag Girl team, too, but, uh, tour de something. Tour de- yeah, I don't- I don't remember. <clears throat> okay, you got a link, okay. Let me see. Let's- stop! Stop! No, I didn't tell you to keep playing! Here, let me see real quick. Uh, here. Yeah, okay, so it should be... Oh, it's just right there! It was just right there! I kept passing by there and I never noticed. 0.5k away from jumping jacks, let's go! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh yeah, and there's Konami- oh! <laughs> Not sure if that's supposed to be a bra or a swimsuit, but okay. Oh, well interesting! Yeah, all these shown together. But yeah, you're really gonna make me do them jumping jacks? Alright. You're amazing! Oh, hello, hello! Zekin608, thank you for following. <clears throat> really appreciate that. Hope you enjoy your time here at the High Biker Gang. But yeah. The coach? Let's groove! Yeah, you really said. Okay, well that's neat. Okay, yeah, I think I think we pretty much saw what we need to. Interesting. Yeah, like everyone only ever talks about the Risei poster. I just didn't know that Konami was like she switches out with her too, that's really cool. Sussy poster, right? Yeah. Shirt going up a little too high. Oh, fuck, that's right. The, I don't know why my controller disconnected. Here we go. I can't let Nanako-san go through that hell. Oh, and Mashta, one more thing. What is it? Hold on, let me just... Okay, I was just making sure the overlay was right. We're good. <clears throat> looked into Ochimi's story short, she's clean. Sussy. Indeed. Hey, Goku, how we doing today? But yeah, Konami did have the Daisy Dukes. Huh? It may be 
pretty small. Criminals always have a tell when it comes to what they're going to do. I've checked everything about her I can. Her alibi, her post Takara Productions history, her relationships. I found nothing. Yeah, the poster was pretty s super, yeah. Imagine the state of play tomorrow reveals a bunch of Atlas games on the new service. Oh, I, I want to dream. I don't know, I don't usually tune into these state of play things. When's it gonna be? I didn't even know it was tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, I think I think if anything, I'll just like listen for news. 3 p.m. tomorrow. For us? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to miss some of it because I get out of work at 4. I'll see if I can tune in. At least for a bit. She's simply a very passionate woman. She seems to be doing everything she can for your group. Contrary to her public persona. Persona? <laughs> That's why you're not streaming tonight. Okay, I see. Alright, yeah, just- we're just waiting for that. But yeah, always nice to kick back. Not a spoiler, but in PQ2, Ryuji and maybe other P5 characters recognize Risa and think Naoto from the real world. That's cool! Yeah, just like, going in with the- like, you know, sticking with the lore that yes, they're famous. It's like, yeah, we've seen your posters, we've seen you on TV. That's really neat. Of course, there's no use in talking about evidence when I can't even figure out what exactly is going on here. But from what I've seen, there's absolutely no suggestion of Ochimizu being involved in any of this. Thank goodness. So Mizu Chimizu isn't the culprit behind it. Looks like she wasn't Ochimisus. Like I said, I wouldn't go so far as to call this an actual case yet. But at the very least, I'm sure Chimizu has no part in it. Ah, but then... What next? If it's not Mizu Chimizu, then who do we look at next? Well, about that, I did find something odd. Oh? While I was checking up on Chimizu, I took another crack at finding more details on Yuko Asada. It seems there's one more witness in that case who hasn't come forward yet. I bet... I bet it's Konami. Yeah, that's like she. I bet she blocked out what happened, and that's why she's like she's getting the the headaches because like they're just slowly the memories are slowly starting to seep in or something. A witness? I don't have any definitive evidence on this since all I did was dig through newspapers from the time. But the testimony from the Takara Productions' first witness, the one who found the body, doesn't match up with certain other details. Wait a minute, didn't we- didn't they, like, animate that scene at the very beginning of the story mode? I don't remember, but I- I could have sworn. It's just a hunch, but I get the feeling that there's more to that case than we know. Yeah, we figured out that Miss Ochimizu wasn't the culprit, but this case is still nowhere near solved. Honestly, whether or not there's a culprit behind this... Actually, it'd be best if there wasn't anyone behind it. I just want everyone to come back safe and sound. They animated it. Okay, I thought so. Okay. Um, what should I do? Just do your job. I can't have you along helping me in this. Since I've stuck my foot in it already, this is my case. My nephew's on the line too, don't forget. Aw, uh, you sure? Come on, don't make that face. All I've done so far is look up things from old newspapers and whatnot. I don't even know if this supposed second witness really exists or not. Man, I didn't think not having my resources as a detective would be such a pain. Man. Sorry. Well, I can't guarantee that I'll find anything more by digging further. But I'm currently having that contact of mine check the records from back then. I'll let you know if it turns up anything. Okay, then I'll keep Nanaka-san company. Oh, an Instagram post. What's this? Oh, it's Miku- Oh my god! <laughs> I think I've seen this clip- I'm not sure, but like, I've seen the clips- I've seen like, like a few clips of Jerma playing this Miku game. And just like him just having a- having a seizure like, with that one song. You're going insane, right? Hold on, let me pull that up for you guys. Yeah, look at- Yeah, the poppy ball, yeah. He's singing along with it. Like, it's surreal! It's surreal just, you know, hearing him sing the poppy pole. Like, man, that was a big part of my childhood. Or, uh... 
middle school years. I just remember my friend would not stop like doing the dance and it always gets stuck in my head too. But yeah, good times. If you do find out anything, please be sure to tell me. Me dressed like Miku. I could do- yeah, you know what? Miku would be a fun cosplay to do actually. Just gotta get me the wig and the outfit and we're good to go. But yeah, TBH, I've always wanted to like dress up like a Vocaloid. I, I just really like their arm warmers. Yeah, Miku Pawa, exactly. She has the power. We we love our queen. Our Robo Queen. I really appreciate this. I'll leave her with you, Master. Oh, Nanako's giving a thumbs up. If you went to my school, you'd outdo me and dress like Death the Kid. Yeah, Death the Kid is like an absolutely snazzy cosplay. Like, especially if you have like the guns too, that'd be perfect. Man. I I kinda wanna rewatch Soul Eater. Like I haven't uh I think I watched like the first couple seasons. I don't remember, but like I never actually finished it. I have a general idea of what happens though, but you know, just going back to rewatch be nice. You gotta get the two gun girls. Yeah, find yourself a Liz and Patty and you're good to go. <laughs> but yeah, thumbs up to Nanako. Look at her. Giving us that thumbs up. There's that actor who did Soul cosplay. What? Yeah, you know, Soul Soul Eater Soul Eater Evans, that was that was my Soul Eater husband though. I really liked him. He just had that cool vibe. <laughs> but yeah, mmm, the cosplay. Maybe it's because Nanako-san is with me, but when we reach the studio, Coach is in a pretty good mood. <clears throat> For a while, we just talk about random stuff. Wow, Nanako-san's skills are impressive if she can liven Coach up this much. Uh, I really should learn from her example. The actor from Euphoria, you think? Oh, interesting. Huh. Well, whoever they are, based. As I mentally sigh, the studio door opens with a quiet sound. You've seen Soul Eater, but you haven't seen Soul Eater not though. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about that one too. I just wonder if it's like, if it's like the Boruto <laughs> in the series, you know? But yeah. Andy, no! Isan walks in. Huh. The lesson hasn't started yet? Oh, Coach. Coach! I'm very sorry for the trouble you had with your payment the other day. Oh, that was nothing. I was being a baby about it. I don't mind waiting on the check a little longer. After all, you proved your fidelity to me. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Coach, you're standing a little close. What? Oh, Coach. Huh? Coach glides over to Inoue san, and Inoue san responds with a wry smile. What's going on? Was some kind of deal between two adults made without me knowing? <clears throat> All right, girls. Tomorrow is the big day at last. Coach and Inoue confirmed. Ooh, spicy. Soul Eater not may or may not be for me. If I like the idea of the weapons making out with their meisters, because they gotta get aroused to transform for some- What? Whoa, wait, what? Is that for real? What? Okay. I did not actually know about that. I just know, like, they're- It's like the younger generation or something. That, that's all I know. You wish you were joking? What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, I don't know, because, yeah, I feel like I wouldn't like it, because I don't know, it, it just totally, it totally, like, changes up what, like, you know, the whole, I mean, like, you, yeah, like, I, I shipped Soul, Soul and, um, Maka, they were cute together, like, yeah, you can have romantic relationships with your, your Meister or whatever, but, like, that's a bit, that's a bit much, don't you think? Man. The c coach whispers, dick, boner. <laughs> fart noise. <laughs> oh, actually, speaking of, back when I was watching that one episode with like the Byakuya gang for Boruto, there was like a part where Boruto was fighting against Shikadai because like he was under some genjutsu, and he was throwing a smoke bomb, and I swear to God, this this 
the noise that the smoke bomb made sounded like the reverb fart, but without the reverb. Maybe I was tripping, but I swear to god it sounded like that. I have nothing more to teach you two. All you have to do now is pour your passion out on that stage. Soul Eater not is a shameless rehash, not surprised at all. Yeah, cause like, you know, I don't really see people talk about it, so maybe <laughs> maybe that's why. God though, I can't believe they I can't believe they do that. It, did the original author work on Soul Eater Not, or like, is it someone else? Cause like, that's- that's just... Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, I'd be cool- like, I'm okay like if they do like, you know, yeah, pass- pass the torch on to like a younger generation, like for- for these pro tags, but like... Uh, uh, with that kind of premise, it's weird. Yeah, the real deal! <laughs> Probably got a director who directed a hentai. It sure does sound like it. Yeah, no, like, it's definitely sounding like an etchy. Oh no, that's no good, Nanako. Bordering on hentai. Remember what I said? If you're nervous, the audience will pick up on it. It's only like that for the two female protag girls. Okay. Oh, okay, because if that was like the concept for everyone else, sure. Still though, it is that that's weird. But don't go thinking you can be completely laid back either. Like it sounds like something. It sounds like a doji. Like I don't know. If you ditch all your anxiety, then your lazy heart will lead to a lazy body. Hell, just look how loose I've gotten. <sighs> Dead shape. Did I want a reminder of what happened in that one cutscene or a link or neither? Neither. I- just as long as I know, cause like, I- I know that- Like, I had a feeling that it was animated, but yeah. I, it's okay, I remember now. It sounds like the Jolene official dojin. Exactly! Yeah. That was a trip. I, I still can't believe that was official. <laughs> but it's okay to be a little nervous. It helps you feel like you're completely ready for anything as you get on stage. Even you, Big Sis? Especially me. Even now, just getting up on stage makes me freeze up like a statue. Nami-chan, that would present a problem. Oh, but I guess I'm better about it nowadays. I've gotten to the point where I can actually stay standing when I'm up there. Good for you. For Takara Productions. The coach's completely silent expression change. I know, right? Just as soon as like the word loose got off screen, he was totally fine. <laughs> that that face is pretty funny too. Big sis? What's wrong? My audition. Wait, did I do an audition? She forgot. It's that brain tumor. <laughs> oh yep, the brain tumor kicking in again. A sharp pain runs through my head, and I hunch over, wincing. Ow. That one was dangerous. My vision went completely white for a moment. Yeah, Miss Ma'am, you need to see a doctor. Konami, honey, are you alright? Oh, yo, yo! This happens sometimes. Jeez, don't worry us like that. Tomorrow's the big day, so you need to take good care of your health. She can actually stay standing there. She realizes you were just like me. Trying to make history here. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh god, as soon as I turn this fan off, it gets super hot. But then I get the sniffles when this thing's on. Ugh. Let's do our best, Nanako san. Mm -hmm. Well then, shall we begin? This dance lesson is ow! Oh, I have to hear that again. I fucking love the dance instructor. No, it was Revengeance? No, this is Patrick. No, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> I just felt like making it time to make history. Let's get it started now. 
Okay, you got the dang and rompas. Oh, that's right! She had Heartbeat Heartbreak! Uh, I love this remix. Yeah, this is one of my other favorite remixes in this game. I just remember always doing this dance too. If I felt bored. Nanako with another IRL dance. I know, yeah, Nanako's getting a lot a lot of dances. Honestly, I feel like she's getting more than Konami. It feels like it, but they probably have had like two songs each so far. It just really feels like they're focusing on Nanako. Yeah, and now she's got the Mickey D's uniform. Oh. Oh, she's got the finger guns. Interesting, let you check. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might just be because, like, I think the last song we did in the story mode was also a Nanako dance. Or it w no, wait, it was like, I think it was like, um, Konami but with Nanako. Bets on which character is gonna get the last dance. Risei, you, Konami. All of the above. I mean, I, I've i played, like, free dance and, like... Well, I don't know. I don't know if I should spoil. Wait, they, like, I know what the last dance should be like. If it's not the last dance, though, I'd be surprised, because they set it up like it's supposed to be the last dance. Like, in free play. I'm right. Hold on. Let me catch these. Hint, don't spoil. Yeah! Don't worry, I got you guys. Oh, there's Konami. Okay. So, in free dance anyway, Nanako has more than Konami. Okay, yeah, I had a feeling. Alright. Well, interesting. Yeah, I felt that. Dying of diabetes. But yeah, you know, I don't know, maybe it would make sense that Nanako has more dances, because she's Nanako. Like, Konami, we, I mean, we've heard of her before, but it's like, we've never really seen her. Yeah. It's just like, who's this? We want Nanako, I guess. No, but where are my Dojima dances? I really wish that Dojima could have been danceable. The closest thing- oh, you know what, it's funny. I should buy it, but like, there- you can give someone a Dojima mask. I think- I think all the guys can have the Dojima mask. Or maybe all of them, all the characters, I don't know. But it, it's so funny, the Dojima mask, like... It- it just- it's a mask, but it's with Dojima's face, and it looks kind of cartoony. And like, you can dress up in Dojima's outfit, too. But yeah, where's my Dojima default dance? That's what I need in my life. Alright. Yeah, that'll do it. A pause right there. Actually, I am going to have to pause. Well, not pause, but stop right there because it's getting close to midnight. And I also want a midnight snack. I'm, I'm actually pretty hungry right now. But yeah, I should stop here. I am getting kind of tired too. A Dojima and Akachi duet solving the problems. Akachi or Adachi? <laughs> No, wait, but they are- I mean, yeah, they are detectives. That would be interesting to see. Yeah. Give us more detective. Yeah. You meant Adachi. Okay. Adachi. Yeah, see, like, Adachi's here. What about Dojima, huh? But yeah, let me just- let me just double check, make sure that this will, um, go back right here. 
economy collapses. Oh, gee, I wonder what's gonna happen in this chapter. It's about time. <laughs> I mean, like, she's been having her, her little, like, tumor flashes, but... Yeah, she needs a- she needs a break! She needs to go to the doctor! Yes, I do have the Adachi Dance DLC. Um, I don't think you were here when I did that, but yeah, I- I did dance to that. And it was fun. He's there. But yeah, I'm gonna stop there because yes, I am getting tired. Hi, Yosuke! Thanks for short stream. No, you know what happened? Um, so those of you who came in, like, later... We actually- I had to restart the stream twice because internet problems, basically. So that's the reason why the uptime is, like, um, shorter. But we have been here since, like, like, it's 11.55pm for me right now. I started, like, around 9pm, so, like, I, I, we've, we've gotten some pretty good um, footage time. But yeah, like, you'll see the VODs. Yeah. The technical difficulties. Longer than 9 inch doji. Oh, he's not 9 inch doji anymore. He has. He's grown. Around 6 hours? No, 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 9, nine to 11. 9 11? <laughs> yeah, it's like about like the 2 to 3 hour stream kind of. Yeah, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. You were only here for the second stream break, not the first. There were actually three. There, like, I reset it, and it was still lagged, like, the second time. That one might have been, like, only, like, five to ten minutes. But, yeah. But we're- I'm- I'm- I'm okay now. I'm just at least glad that we got some dances in there. And we got to celebrate Rise and, uh, look at Yosuke shaking his hips. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, three. <laughs> three. Yeah, like, these streams tend to be, like, two to three hours long. It depends, but yeah. A death by inches. Yeah, exactly. I if that's how I went out, I wouldn't- I wouldn't mind. Honestly. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you for tuning into the stream, as always. Always love chatting with you guys. Appreciate having you here. If you're just watching, I'm always glad to be entertainment. And yeah, for those of you who were there during the CBT technical difficulties, I apologize. I, I'm really, really sorry about that. I, I it's, it's above my control. I, I should get an Ethernet though, like, so I don't have to like deal with that again. But I don't know. I, I want to save up on money before, like, at least until AX, you know, passes by, because it, it gets stinky when shit like that happens. But. Anyways, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Um, so tomorrow I will be streaming Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. So look forward to that. Gonna go jump right into the hot Yosuke content. But yeah, I and mean, there's Yosuke right now. He's getting closer. Okay. Anyways, Matsunene, my dudes. I hope you have a lovely rest of your night or day, wherever you may be. And yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. It's time to get me. Hmm, what if I wrote a Death by Inches Yosuke AI dungeon fic? Maybe one of these days. Either way, I'm getting those inches. Alright, anyways, lates my dudes, and peace. <laughs>